Welcome back to the next round of the Steel Series $20,000 tournament. We are watching one of our favorite gamers, Salami, known for being a daily main, but here he is playing a game playing as the Mongols. So, of course, in tournament gameplay, you do have to play different civilizations. So, this isn't too surprising, to be honest. And I know Salami likes some tower rushing and going straight for wood would not be surprised if we see some tower rushing coming out of him. Salami's currently a rank 39 on the ladder and his opponent, I Am Magic, another top 100 player, he is rank 79 on the ladder right now. So uh, going to be a good game and he is playing as the Rus. And we know Rus and Mongols, two of the best civilizations right now in the meta. And uh, we'll have to see uh, who is able to pull, uh, pull out the victory here. Um, so Salami's just won his last two rounds playing as the Delhi Sultanate. I do believe we're still, this is uh, uh, the round of 16. I think these are all single elimination in this current bracket. So, um, you know, if, if Salami, I think he, I think he has to win this game in order to advance to the next round, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and coming out and building a barracks, this is indicating he is going to be tower rushing. So he's going to train these times two spearmen, and then he's going to be coming out and tower rushing. I know he loves to do it. Um, so we'll see if he's able to put some early pressure uh, on uh, I Am Magic. It is the quarterfinal for this pool. Someone in chat, if you could clarify if this is a single elimination, uh, that would be be great. So, uh, yeah, I have just uh, joined this tournament here kind of mid and seeing what's going on. So I might be a little bit out on some of the some of the rules here. But anyways, back to the game. It is single elimination. OK, cool. <laughs> sometimes I lie. I don't know. Good make up. I make up news sometimes. OK, here we go. We have uh, times two spearmen going to be trained here very, very soon for Salami. Um, perhaps miss the mark on the micro, macro a little bit, but he's going to get that in queue. Here it goes. In queue. There we go. It's not a big deal. One villager coming out. Now, if I was I Am Magic, I mean, he, he I'm sure he's seen the tower rush time after time again. This is a, this is a go-to Mongol strategy. It is so fearsome. Um, and, I mean, we've got the, the Mongol tower rush, and then you've got the, the Rus straight to Fast Castle without gathering any gold. Archer, uh, Cav Archer spam, right? That's what we know. Oh my gosh, but he sees it. He sees it. He knows. He sees the villagers. I mean, you expect it's probably happening. But we've got two spearmen, two archers coming out. Scout knows it's coming. Magic has to react. What's he going to do? And to be honest, I'm not loving... Uh, now, now, I haven't played a ton of Ruse, but like, when you're playing against Mongols, you need to be prepared for some cheese coming your way. And... He's got these buildings out here, and you see, okay, he's just now transitioning to wood, obviously going to try to get some towers down, but I feel like he's a little bit behind on the game. You want to get these towers down very quickly. I mean, I often will gather extra wood, go for even an early barracks or an early tower myself. Oh, boy, does he not know where his opponent's talents are? Maybe he's just going for a roundabout way there? I don't know. He's doing something. I think he's just going for a sneaky sneak sneak. Okay. Magic trying to wall off, but uh, this is going to be way too late. The Colin's going to get up here. He's going to be harassing these villagers. Uh, he might get this wall off. There, no, he's not. Okay, deleted wall. Uh, in come the villagers. Uh, he's about to be in some trouble. Probably going to drop down one of those wooden fortresses. Now, one thing to note about the Rus, their wooden fortress is technically, you know, textbook, the, you know, the strongest tower in the game, right? Um, it is stronger than uh, your typical outpost. It does cost 175 wood, though. So expensive thing to drop down. And Slami right now dropping dual towers. But Rus equipped to deal with this. They have extra scouts, typically. And you see this villager um, likely going to go down here to these uh, three scouts. Let's see, 8 HP. I would be very impressed if this villager stays alive. But there we go. It is dead. But luckily, he has a second one. And I don't know if Magic has scouted that this tower is here so just like sometimes you think like okay i've held it i've killed the villager i'm in a good shape and then kapuya down comes the, the outpost from the other side uh, but magic kind of anticipating there's some uh there's some tomfoolery going on he's on to the other side he says screw this slumber mail i'm going to the other side but this will give uh, Slami time to siege these buildings down he'll get res from each of those sieges uh, and uh, there we go. A barracks coming down. Now, this is what I was saying a little bit earlier. When you're up against Mongols, which who might be tower rushing you, I would almost consider, I mean, open with that barracks. Don't wait. If you are reacting to the, the towers and spears shooting up in your base, it is too late because he's not going to have times two production on these, right? But at least he has a scouts, right? They aren't completely defenseless. They have some scouts here, but scouts don't do amazing against spearmen. But we have this one tower here overlooking. Let's see his line of sight there. Uh, so you can kind of see the corner here. But I think he's done enough to scare his opponent away. Meanwhile, the spearmen coming out. Maybe we'll get on these villagers. And the Khan, yeah, uh, tower going to start working down there. There we go. We see our first wooden fortress coming up. 
What's going on here? We got some spearmen uh, attacking these 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 uh, these scouts, and of course, while this is going on, this is probably going to disrupt his plan of professional scouts in the second age, which is the Roost's kind of go-to thing. That's why he's trained all these scouts, and he's also not going out. He's not spending time. Let's see if he killed all the animals out. I think he did, but he probably didn't get all the wolves. I would imagine there's a hunt there. Like this is what I was going to say is like he's distracting the scouts, so they're not getting the gold bounty right now. If you look at Eye Magic, he, he does have the gold he needs for age up technically, but he, he ideally would be wanting to kill all of these uh, deer at the moment. Okay, so right now Salami is going to be getting that uh, that outpost down. It does look like he's at one to the north, one to the south. Uh, Magic is uh, doing a good job of putting down some outposts here uh, just to secure his wood line. But uh, we'll have to see if it is enough. Obviously, it's a huge investment early on. These are not uh, cheap in placements, but could secure some some uh, valuable resources. He needs to have the wood, uh, you know, to, to, to survive here in the second age. And there we go. We've got a few spearmen of his own going out and engaging. But you see this. This is what I was talking about. He's got three spearmen. Slummy's got eight. He can only train one at a time. So that's why, like, you have to... You, I mean, you really kind of have to open with spearmen if you're going to try to try counter this, at least with the spearmen. But look at this. Uh, Wooden Fortress laying out some good damage. Two spearmen will go down. And that will help him uh, even the odds here. Because he's got three scouts, three spearmen up against six spearmen. But uh, Slummy's just going to keep creeping slowly with his outposts. And just try to box out his enemy. And there we go. The Golden Gate coming down. Now, one thing, Roos is a little, uh, I would say, better equipped than most civilizations to deal with this being pinned down in your face. Because with this Golden Gate, they get one uh, free, uh, one additional exchange every minute. Um, and this allows them to just trade up resources. So... They can stay there, gather wood, trade that up, get what you need to age up. You know, it doesn't matter if you get walled off on your stone or, or gold or whatever happens. That's stone. It doesn't matter if you walled with stone. But uh, in this situation, uh, Salami actually has not walled the gold at the moment. So he's, like, targeting the wood line really, really aggressively. And look at this. This tower is going to have a, a big reach here. Um, I'm not sure. I wish I could know, like, see exactly the tile it's going to reach to, but we'll see. Wow, wow, wow. Back out here, we have some scouts uh, harassing some of Salami's villagers. And typically what Mongol players like to do behind this is they will just go for an age up. Um, so he's going to age up to two. A lot of times they're like, their, their goal is just like to pin down the opponent and then go for age three. So, uh, you know what I can't decide though right now? I, I can't decide if these towers are getting enough value. Because right now they aren't shooting villagers. They they are. He's still gathering wood. He's been able to, to with his wooden fortresses, uh, kind of secure his wood line. Um, and meanwhile, magic back at home is killing the reinforcing spearmen and could very possibly here siege down the Uvu and the barracks. Uh, this is not looking good for uh, Salami at the moment here back at home. Um, does he have the hardened spearmen yet? Is he upgrading his? Let's see. Uh, he is not going to upgrade him. He's just going to go for an archer range. So, uh, man, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I actually feel like maybe the tower rush has not, uh, has not been effective enough. Um, obviously, this was a big investment here, but it's all on the back of his base. So Magic can just walk out the front and go attack his opponent and let those towers chill back at home. So, like, a tower here could have been a lot, maybe a little bit more impactful, or even out here uh, could have really been an issue. But right now, he, all of his forces can escape. Uh, he's got spearmen. He's got archers. Um, I'm a little worried about Salami in this situation here. Uh, you know, Roos, uh, obviously, Magic has dealt with this before, and this is a, definitely a way you could deal with it. If you can escape from the towers and you know just kind of ignore that they're there if you can afford it and it's not preventing your resources uh you can just go attack the enemy's base and mongols you know he's got a tower but he doesn't even have an archery range down yet he just hit the next age um and uh here we go in comes some spearmen he is gonna get this outpost down so i think he will protect his uvu this might go down uh, let's see here. He needs to garrison something inside of there, though, to shoot. I, I think that Ubi's going to go down before he's able to get enough uh, damage out. And that's going to be a big deal. Stops his time suit production. Ideally, uh, he wants to be uh, dropping an archery range or something down right now. You see him going for a lot of gold, indicating that maybe he's trying to age up. Or maybe he's going for arrow slits? I don't know. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because uh, he doesn't have any military buildings out that can deal with the archers right now. Um, you see his barracks currently under attack. Uh, a few villagers... I, I mean, he's got some villagers on wood. 
The enemy has to see this gold and know that maybe he's going for a third age. Uh, but meanwhile, look at this. A second town center coming out for Magic. And Magic's going to secure this wood line with the second town center. I mean, economy looking really, really strong. Uh... This game is looking really good for I Am Magic right now. Uh, Salami might have flown a little clo too close to the sun with his cheese. Here come these spearmen. They are harassing these villagers. A few villagers going to be going down. The Khan is dying. Archers laying out some damage here on these villagers. But at the same time, we do have a tower dealing a lot of damage against, uh, against I Am Magic's forces. And perhaps might be, given, be getting enough value. Yes, Salami lost a few villagers there. Um, but... Uh, this is a lot of damage. Uh, unfortunately, though, right now, the scout is tanking a lot of these shots. Um, what's going on back at home? We've got this three towers still just chilling. Uh, have these been upgraded arrow slits? These two have their arrow slits upgrade. So he he might think like, okay, I got this. Like, look at the look at the range on this tower with arrow slits. It's insane. But um, he might not know. Magic doesn't care. He's got the second town center up. Oh, look at this. This would have been a great uh, tower for him, but villager going down. Um, so he's not be able to get that. I'm a little bit worried. Slami just uh, might have put too much into the towers here. Um, I think he's a little bit behind right now. And he's going to have to work really hard to dig himself out of this one. He's able to rebuild that Uvu to get that uh, stone, but uh, he's got to defend it. We got two low villagers here. Oh my gosh, they're going to escape. Maybe he could garrison and kill a few spearmen here. Let's see if he does. Nope. Uh, pulls back just on time. Dropping down an archery range. And there we go. That Ubi's going to start taking some fire. Now look at the villager count right now. We have 34 for I Am Magic versus 33 Salami. So all things considered. Now, Tech of Towns is going to start uh, becoming a factor. Um, Salami is still close in the vill count at the moment. And of course, you have to account for the, the free units you get with the Uvu. Um, so going for that. But he's going to be losing that. Honestly, I feel like he could have built the Uvu back here. Uh, because he's just going to lose that right again. I mean, this gets one, you can see you know, one stone coming in, one stone coming in, but he's not going to, is that going to pay off for how much wood they end up costing? I mean, you know, Nuvu does cost, I think it's 150? 150, yeah, 150 wood. I'm up there. Might want to delete his outpost. He would get his wood back from his, from that if he did that. Um, and, but his opponent's eco, essentially, uh, untouched at the moment. He is gathering from everything, um, and bringing out military units. And at the same time, look at it out on the map. <laughs> What in the world is this? He's out here, just kind of like way out here, gathering the no professional scouts. You, you know, you'd think you'd see some professional scouts here, but he's just going out on the map and uh, gathering it that way. Um, and I think I Am Magic has got a comfy lead right now, and this is going to be a tough one for Slami to pull out of. Uh, he could spam out some archers, maybe, but he doesn't have the time to production. Uh, and meanwhile, I am Magic just kind of boxing uh, his opponent out. You can see he's kind of on all sides of his base right now. Oh no, he just got done building another Uvu. And at the same time, these archers and spheres have found it. And uh, that is certainly going to be burned as well. So that's, you know, 300 wood, 450, or yeah, 450 wood in Uvus he's spent so far. Um, Moving the deer stones up a little bit. He's going to try to get those archers, I think, in range to take some shots on the spearmen. Perhaps could save this. Honestly, I feel like right now he cannot... Oh, man. He, but he's not going to be able to. Look at this. Uh, Magic's got the archer numbers. Down goes a villager. Down goes the archer. Look at the villager count. 38 for Salami. 44 for I and Magic. Um, I, I, I think this game's going to be, be in, in uh, I, I and Magic's back pocket. Uh, he's got a... a, a Good eco boom going on. Slami is going to lose a third Uvu. Uh, has his two archery ranges and a barracks, dropping a third archery range. But uh, you know, is he macroing the age up, or uh, he's just not spinning his res right now? Slami's got almost 800 food and 373 gold. He's not going to age up. Oh no, again. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to go. I wish he would go for this one. Does he know that it's back there? Oh, he's just scouted it. I mean, he's lost so much resources on these Uvus. Imagine if he just placed it here. He could have probably kept it alive for a while. Okay, he has some archers out here. Is it enough? Is it enough? We'll have to see. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six, nine archers here for uh, for Salami versus the eight archers of magic. Uh, and, of course, with the Khan's ability, he might be able to win this fight. But at the same time, I Am Magic has reached the Third Age with the Abbey of Trinity. Training up that first Warrior Monk's going to go out. There's a, a Relic right here to be grabbed. There's, I mean, a lot of Relics that he's going to quickly pick up. Um, and this is the first time Slami's actually been out of his base here for some time. Some archers moving forward, uh, perhaps looking to drop a, an Outpost, uh, maybe? 
But uh, he's going to have to get some value out of, the, out of these units, and he needs to be careful not to get too close to that town center. The Alpo is coming down right outside of the range of the, of the wood line, but at this point, oh no! Town center laying down damage. Khan taking a lots of shots. Okay, he's got the back of... I mean, here's the... I think this is the biggest thing here. This tower rush was focused on the back of the base. Like, imagine if these four towers were up front. Uh, Magic wouldn't have been able to just, like, run straight ahead and get out of his base and go attack Slami like he's been able to do. Um, and I think that's been a, a, a key moment here in this game. Uh, now, one thing Slami could luckily get. If Slami were to head down here, I mean, that's 14 villagers for the grabbings. He could even the playing field if he was able to somehow find those. Man, wouldn't it be fun for some uh, for the Khan just to run right back there? But I don't know if he's going to. He's, he's really focused on this front line at the moment. Getting that outpost up. Uh, going to dive inside of there and take some shots down on those men at arms. Uh, Salami looked like he's going to age up. So I wasn't sure, honestly, if he was going to survive past the second age. But I, I think he is going to get an opportunity to age here. But meanwhile, uh, his opponent has been booming up. He's brought in. Oh, is he not grabbed a relic yet? Hmm. Maybe he's going down and getting the far relics first. There's a relic right here. It'd be easy to grab. This is a big risk for I Magic. I'm not going to lie. 16 villagers out here. Uh, that, this is just a, a huge gamble. Um, but right now, it's paying off for him. There we go. We got one, two, three, four man arms. And these archers just aren't going to be able to sit here and fight these man arms. Uh, really caught here in the middle of them at the moment. He's doing his best to lay out some DPS. Of course, the tower does help. So one man arms does go down uh, with a little bit of, of course, he has that yam speed network. They're very, very speedy units. Um, he's able to kite and just get lots of damage out on them. But uh, he's just kind of just trying to survive at the moment, right? He's not going to kill all of these and be pushing into this archer line anytime soon. Maybe some knights coming out here. We have a stable going down. Some knights would be a big issue right now. Uh, for Salami. Now, Salami uh, is aging up with the step red out. Now, this will give a plus 50% gold. Oh, my gosh. If Salami sees this... Oh, he does see this. Does he notice it yet? I mean, for magic, what is he thinking? I mean, he's got 64 villagers to 47. He's in a big lead. But this is an opportunity... For Salami to do some damage, like he, he is, he's distracted his opponent kind of back at home with the minute arms, these towers he has to deal with. If he brings some some archers down here right now, uh, Magic could lose uh, a lot of villagers. But at the same time, he is gathering all these hunts up very, very quickly. And right now, uh, Salami has not answered it. Maybe he doesn't even see it. There we go. Three archers see it, but you know he's gonna be able to run away. Four archers not gonna do enough damage. Uh, but yeah, there we go. But imagine if he had moved back earlier. Um, what a wild little gamble there. Um, Warrior Priest coming in. Looks like we're going to maybe try to do a Wololo just to box out those archers as his villagers escape. He loses two villagers for the cost of some hunts he picked up. Not a big deal. Wololo coming down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I thought Slami was going to lose those. That would have been absolutely huge. Uh, look like one archer came in there and died. He was able to grab one Sacred Sight there. So... Uh, for the roost, that's 100 gold per minute. 100 gold per minute. Uh, they don't get 200 gold for the sacred sites, but he needs to pick up the relics. Okay, one, two, three relics coming down right now inside the Abbey of the Trinity. Um, this does allow him to uh, produce these warrior uh, monks at a fraction of the cost. He also has these upgrades, lots of cool upgrades you can get. But most importantly, there he's getting in his his uh, his relics. He's grabbing the sacred sites. He's having a good time. Third town center right now in the works for uh, I am Magic. Uh, looking really dominating in this game right now. We'll see if the Mongol military might can uh, last. Of course, we're probably some horse archer uh, nonsense here very, very soon. Um, I think maybe going to go for some Lancers. Perhaps. Uh, trying to deny. Yeah, we have one Lancer out there. He is going to get a few villagers down. Look at this. They were able to just, I mean, one, two, three villagers. But that's not a big deal. 66 villagers versus the 52. Honestly, all things considered, uh, he is still getting plus 50% gold for the step red out. So this is a huge value. See right now, Salami has, uh, he just had like 3k gold that he just traded. Um, and perhaps he's just going to go all in on gold and trade, but his opponent has one sacred site and currently has one, two, three, four relics. This relic isn't garrisoned right now. Um, but uh, a keep being dropped down, that's going to be an issue for Salami. He's not going to be able to just walk by that thing. He's going to need some serious siege to deal with it. And uh, the power creep of his opponent just looking really, really good. Man, what, a, what an inch. I mean, for, for a Mongol Roost game, this has been interesting. 
Uh, we see so much of the same stuff. I guess we did see a tower rush, but whatever. Um, now we see all the pastures set up back here at home for Salami. He is gathering that food. Uh, has these Lancers out on the field. But now, how's he going to deal with this keep? Uh, has all that gold. Look at this. 1,700 gold at the moment. But that gold vein is going to go out. He might be go out for this gold vein. Uh, but, I mean, if this game goes really long, I mean, if Magic drops a keep here, he could just wait till Salami runs out of gold. So he's going for the long game. He's got three town centers. Still ignoring uh, this relic. Where's that other relic? He had, I know he had four relics, but I don't know where the other relic ran off to. Maybe he's going to put... Oh, it's inside that monastery. There we go. So you can see that's 100 uh, gold per minute. So he has 400 gold per minute. Plus we have a sacred site. Oh, he lost that one. So he's got 500 free gold per minute. Not to mention the villager advantage. Um, I wonder what Salami's strategy right now is. We see lancers. We see crossbows. Um... Man, it's going to be a difficult one. Man Arms finally clearing up some of those uh, outposts on the back line. Let's go down here. We got another outpost that's still there from the beginning. I hear a trebuchet. Who is a trebuchet? Okay, Slami has set up a trebuchet. But the problem is going to be trebuchets, they are slow moving. And they deal out 300 damage every every shot, but that's 5k damage you got to put on a keep. And if there's villagers repairing it, a single trebuchet simply won't do. Now, does he have the advanced siege engineering? It does look like he does have the improved siege engineering, so he can uh, build springholds, trebuchets, uh, and all this stuff out in the field with his uh, infantry. Looks like he's looking to maybe get a raid, and maybe he thought his opponent would be down here. Uh, some raiding, like... Could be really helpful, like some Lancers were running in here, running in, like some Lancers could help uh, bring, out, bring down these villager numbers. But Magic looking really, really strong right now. Let's look at the military graph for a second. Lami's lost 49 units. Magic's lost 70, 75. Raised 11 buildings, though. Oh, there we go. A nice Springhold shot coming in. Slami was able to kill that Springhold, keeping his trebuchet alive. You only need a few Springholds. Um, they do bonus damage now versus Siege. Or rather, they do 90 versus each, 30 versus infantry now. Versus they used to do 60 against any unit they shot at. Okay, so going to be looking to maybe pick up the sacred site, but he is going to be revealing all of these lancers. And his lancers aren't at home defending his army, though he has crossbows sitting behind his trebuchet. Two trebuchets now. Now, two trebuchets, you can see they're starting to deal some significant damage. This is eating away at the wood for Eye Magic. So when your enemy is forced to do this, you know, this is eight villagers that are, or rather, six villagers that are idled. And that's a, a, a steady, uh, you know, eat of your resources as he's trying to repair. But here we go. We've got some knights charging in, trying to get up on the trebuchet. But crossbow is going to very quickly quickly counter those can he keep that spring load alive looks like he'll keep his trebuchet alive and pick up a few of i am magic's units he needs to kill this spring gold right now um we do have a manganel sitting on the back line as well meanwhile lancers all the lancers sitting on a sacred site would nice to see uh, maybe a raid happening uh, back on the back line could really help apply some pressure on i am magic but here we go some knights horse archers trying to get in uh salami's done a good job he's got all his buildings here now is this uber out of stone it might i always struggle trying to see i think it's out of stone uh, I, I do, but yes, he's out of stone. Manganel, unfortunately, moving to the front line, taking shots from the keep. And we also have, I think, a Springhold possibly going to go down. Nah. We have a horse archer out in the field now. Oh, man arms are in the mix. One Springhold is going to go down. Both Springholds are going to go down. And the opponent has two Springholds. Uh, Slummy might be losing all of his siege units here, while his opponent does have the Springhold mass. Um, but a few knights going down. We do see more horse archers in play right now. 3 TC right now for uh, I Magic Course. Really weird. He's just leaving this relic here. Perhaps just hasn't seen it. Where does... Uh... I don't think they actually got a raid off there. At least he's going to get some rest from that. Like I imagine if those knights had been in here, or lancers had been in here in the spite, if they could have helped. Um, I think he might have repaired these trebuchets because they did take some shots, I do believe. Uh, building up some springholds. Now, here comes two springholds forward. He really needs to neutralize... Uh, I Magic Springholds if he's going to keep this trebuchet siege going down. There we go. He was able to get the first shot off there. Down goes that Springhold. And I think he will get the second one as well. The Villager doesn't heal, but the Villagers are healing so fast. Uh, that Villager healing time on Springholds and is able to survive with that Villager healing. Just three or four Villagers. I see this in the professional gameplay a lot. Makes a huge difference um, in keeping your siege alive. But at the same time... Uh, uh, the Mongols are able to construct these Springholds out in the field, so he's able to survive. But look at the resources right now. Um, Gold-wise, he needs to move the step right out, out to here. I think he has not been gathering gold for the, the, the short term, but now he is out of gold. He's going to have to do something. And 1,200 food at the moment. Uh, does he know that that gold vein is out there? Uh, 
I think that's a glitch. I think he knows it's there. I think that's that's not true. But here we go. Horse Archer's moving up to the front line. Uh, man, a mango shot here. Could do a lot of damage. These crossbows coming in. Boom. Somehow dodges it. Only one dies. Uh, very fortunate there. But he does need to neutralize... Uh, uh, the, those mangonels to keep his siege alive. He's still trying to. I mean, this, all of his effort has been just to kill this singular keep. Meanwhile, uh, I am magic uh, sitting on. Let's see, 92 vills versus the 70 of salami. And all things considered, salami is, is is hanging on. He's hanging on for dear life. Um, and uh, let's see, magic has one, two sacred sites. That's 200 gold per minute. Plus, he has one, two, three, four relics. He could pick this one up if he wanted. Uh, has lost the northern sacred site though. He could grab it. But is spinning, you know, a steady stream of wood. Look at his wood right now, just depleting as he's trying to, uh, you know, honestly, while he's had the villager advantage, he has currently, uh, let's see, uh, uh, 12 villagers completely idled on this keep and spinning wood. So this is eating away as resources. This is something you have to count on. Um, this is neutralizing that uh, those additional villagers he has. Let's say take away 12 there. I mean, and we got to count for, of course, the step red out is a huge boost. Oh, Cav Archer's coming out. I don't know if they got villagers out here. Maybe missed a big raid. I think they were just a little too early. That could have been a huge raid for him. Springload's coming forward, trying to get some shots on this trebuchet. They do have just enough damage to tank a few shots. Um, but Villager's coming in. You see Dara to heal. He needs to heal probably his, his trebuchets to keep him alive. Springle's take. There we go. One Springle goes down. A lot of micro from these players. Top 100 gameplay. I mean, they're, they're really good at keeping their siege alive. But those archers coming in, and they actually can snipe uh, some siege units. Oh my gosh! Big mango shot coming down. We do have a Horcher go. He was able to just barely dodge it, but some damage uh, being taken on those horse archers at the moment. And uh, I don't know, guys. I'm starting to feel like Perhaps Lamy has has a dog in this fight. Um, I, I think the fact that all of these villagers have been idled so long and he's just been eating away at this wood here. This is free res that Slami's taking from him while he's just kind of been sitting back. Uh, he's got a step right out, right out going down. He's got a tower going down to see. Uh, oh, boy. No, but this could be huge, man. If this happens, he I mean, he has to know his opponent's out here. Um Oh boy, this could be a, a pivotal moment. He should see it right now with the line of sight, but it matter if he's reacting fast enough. There they go, coming out the corner. Oh my gosh, he saw that. What quick, not not gonna lose a single villager. Wow, Slami, good micro. Good thing he caught that, because that could have been brutal, but he has to keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, while he's looking over to the left, one trebuchet goes down. Uh, he's got enough sprinkles now that he could probably one-shot these trebuchets. I do believe if they all shoot at the same time. Rebuilding that Ovu, where did he build that? Uh, I'm not really sure. Or did it just die? I think maybe he just died to the keep fire. I think... I don't know. I think he just died, but he currently does not have an over up. Uh, wait, he's getting stone, so he definitely has... Oh, he built it right here. Okay, there it is, there it is. There. So he did rebuild it. But look at this, a lot of spring ults. He needs to get some good micro down, but now one spring ult going down. There we go. That's a good trade. That's a good trade for him. Uh, but down here, we got crossbows uh, up against horse archers. Horse archers are such strong units. Uh, this is going to be a really hard battle. I don't know if you even you'll see this going on. Man, if the mangonels win this fight, it'd be huge. I think Salami was a little bit busy with the uh, sprinkled micro. Uh, you know, two mangonel shots on this could be a, a big deal right now. Um, but currently being idled off his gold. But at the same time, he's been able to neutralize some of these sprinkles. Is he going to take that one down? Is the villagers going to get it? Oh, the villagers just barely got through in time. This could have been a huge pickup getting to these sprinkles. But there we go. Healed right up. Holy cow. At the speed of freaking light. Um, but villagers coming up to the front line. Little going to say hello, but they're like, no, nope, we're going back. We're going back. We're out of this. We're not doing this. Um, but right now, idle off his gold. Man, he really needs to get these uh, these these uh, mangonel to get some shots off. Um, but it looks like he's going to be moving away. He does not have uh, the, the the NASCAR speed on the superior mobility of the uh, buildings quite yet. But he is researching it. Uh, Lancers coming in. I honestly, I've been so busy looking here. There's been so much action. I'm not sure if these Lancers have been up here raiding. Um, but I'm seeing lots of villagers for I am Magic, so I'm not too concerned for him. Look at the villager count. 82 for Salami. 99 for I am Magic. All things considered, fat, closer than it should be considering his opponent's been on three TCs. So I'm, I'm just going to take an educated guess that maybe these Lancers have been in there getting some villagers on the back line, perhaps. But now we got one, two Mangonels uh, down for I am Magic. He has three Spring Golds. Um, and man, this is going to be interesting. One, two. There we go. Two giant Mangonel hits there. 
Uh, very crucial, but he needs to keep these alive as the Springlets are moving forward. Another Manganel come, hit coming down. He needs to he maybe heal this with the Villager. Um, needs to neutralize the Springlets if he's going to stay in this fight. One Springle going down. Second Springle, I think, is going to go down. This is really, really crucial for Salami, but at the same time, that's a lot of man and arms on the front line. We do have crossbows to deal with him, but this Manganel is charging down this T-Chart now. That Springle going to be going down very, very quickly. One man and arms on the back line. Um, and not to mention a lot of horse archers. He's got to keep this siege alive if he's going to be able to kill his horse archers. Is he going to be able to pull off some vills and heal it? He could, but I think he's busy microing elsewhere. Meanwhile, uh, the, the, the horse archers uh, cleaning up what was left of Salami's army there. And this could spell GG for Salami here. Grabbing his sacred site down south, trying to get the gold. Um, he's just starved for gold. Lots of food and wood in the bank. But uh, it has just been... Okay, Siege is down for his opponent. He... Oh, wait. Did this, they, what did they shoot at? They shot one horse. There we go. Down goes the Siege. One Springle left here. Um, it's still a singular man in arms on the back line. 20 villagers inside the town center trying to kill it, but it's just not enough. There we go. Springle shot comes down, and it down goes that Manganel. And the horse archers mass just continuing to grow. 39 horse archers. And oh, boy. This could be trouble for Salami. Oh, boy. I do think these horse archers are going to get in here. And there are not enough towers for these villagers to garrison in right now. DPS about to come down on these villagers. One villager goes down. Two villagers go down. Three villagers go down. Four villagers die. Okay, so it, it might have been more than that. But, uh, uh, you know, not good here. Idled off his gold. There, I, I don't think there's any way. There we go. GG is called a, a really, really uh, back and forth game there. Slami opening up with the... Uh, the outpost there, the outpost rush, but unfortunately not enough, able to get enough value. Perhaps if he had outposts in front of his opponent's base, could have made a difference in stopping the reinforcements from running across, killing those Ovus. Of course, we lost like three Ovus uh, to this pikeman and archers. Maybe could have built the the, uh, the Ovu on the back line. Could have helped the situation. But uh, hard-fought battle. I thought he was doing... Uh, ha had some good siege action going on against that keep. He was backed into that corner. Looking at the score here. Look at this. Actually, uh, well, well, Mongol scores is is uh, is glitched. So we can't exactly use that as a metric. But let's look at the economy right now. Salami actually having... Uh, let's look here. There we go. Uh, he had this stone lead. But you can see in every other place was just totally outgathered. Of course, you got to account for like how much wood was being spent on... Uh, on, on, on healing up that uh, that uh, that keep and idled villager time, but that just wasn't enough to to make the difference there. Of course, he had a lot of free resources. That's another thing. Four relics captured, had uh, several sacred sites for most of the game. Look at that villager count. Um, so he, he did get uh, this is like a few villagers did get picked off here and there, um, but uh, it just, you know three town center. Uh, Roos had an opportunity early when those uh, villagers were outside of his base gathering that maybe a, a huge raid could have came in. Uh, but uh, overall, good game from both these players. As far as Mongol and Roos games go, I was pretty entertained. So let me know down in the comments what you thought about this matchup, and I'll be casting plenty more of this Ape or this Steel Series uh, $20,000 tournament. And I uh, hope to see you guys in the next game.